And if I want to bring both those pictures in to the document to work with them and have them side by side or so on, I can do, I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. But right now, let's put it where our cursor is. So the fastest, easiest way to do that is just to drag it right in. Watch that. There you go. So there I have Santa Slay by Sharon Scuddy right there. Okay. Now that's pretty big, isn't it? So what I can do is uh, I can go in and format that and just resize it. Just right click on it and scale the image. And then I can go down and change it, or I can just grab these little things here, and you can see that it scales it to size right there. So let's say I made that like that, said that's okay. And then if I want to center this picture, all I have to do is click right there on the centering, and there's my picture right there. Okay, now when you export this, um, it may not look so wonderful. If you wanted to add things to it, like frames, or you want to soften the edges, or you want to do any kind of graphic art stuff that uh, requires more formatting, then Scrivener is probably not the tool of choice for doing that. Uh, InDesign is the tool of choice for that, and uh, that's why I'm including InDesign in the course because I think it's valuable for the formatting or the fancier books, making uh, your books fancy. But if you're just having uh, pictures in line like this, then Scrivener does a just fine job of that. Okay, so that's one way that um, we can do it. But let's say that you wanted to bring some pictures in, maybe just um, to inspire you for your writing and that kind of thing. Um, another way you can do it is to go and put them into the research section down here. And so I'm going to grab both of those. I'm actually going to hit the shift key and click on both of them. And then that allows me to drag them both in to the research section right there. Now you see they showed up and here they are. And there's the other one. And I've got two pictures right there now. Okay, so now if I wanted to go and say split screen, remember we learned about split screen last week. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So here's my split screen right here, and right now it's saying that it's going to be split screen up and down like that. So it shows me top and bottom. If I don't like that, and I'm more of a left to right person, and so what I'm going to do is when I, when I click this, I'm going to hit the option key and option click it, and now it changes to the vertical alignment right there like that. So what I have is two pictures on here. If I wanted... Uh, to have my writing on one side, and then I wanted to use this side, say with a picture, to have my description, then what I would do is I'm going to go up here, click on this one, make sure this bar is highlighted blue, and I'm going to go back up to my story. So there you go, I have my story on one side, I can be working and editing in this side, and I can have my picture in the other side. So I hope that answers.